Hello, so family. I love you all. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day today. This is going to be a really short video. I'm just going to basically talk about the fact that you need to choose how you are going to live. Will you live in love or will you live in fear? You know, the society nowadays or whatever is always programming us to fear. Uh, you can see this in the news more than anything in the mainstream media. They want us to be afraid of everything. They want us to be afraid of each other. They want us to be afraid of people who are of a different race or just has a different amount of you melanin within their skin. They want us to be afraid of people's sexual preferences. They want us to be afraid of people who have different genders. <clears throat> they want us to be afraid of Muslim terrorists here in America. Um, they literally divide us by every means that they can. <clears throat> they try to divide us by religious lines, by political lines. They fill you full of fear. Oh, if you don't elect this person, this person's going to blah, blah, blah. They're going to do all this stuff. They're going to just end the freaking world. So... You know, the best thing you could ever do is turn the news off. Turn the TV off altogether, because even if it's not the news, there is so much programming within TV shows and movies that it's ridiculous. You really need to have a, a very strong spiritual grounding within yourself before you actually you know, watch this stuff. Because anytime you're just sitting back and you get into a zone, I think it's 60 hertz is what the TV is producing. It's putting you into a hypnotic state. You just sit there and space out. And what happens when you get into a trance and then allow symbols to program you? I've been teaching this for since the beginning. The subconscious mind is a symbol-based operating system symbolism repetition and trauma are the three main ways to reprogram the subconscious mind so when you're sitting here and we all know you need to get into that trance-like state before you reprogram your subconscious mind but you're getting into this trance-like state and just staring at this black box and just allowing it to feed you full of programming and that is why most people live in fear and fight or flight response. They're having always having high levels of cortisol and ATP within their blood because they're literally living in that fear center at all times, which leaves you residing in your lower chakras, uh, basically your root chakras, where you're going to be sitting at if you're living your life in fear. But uh, they're definitely programming you. If you don't program your subconscious mind, somebody else will. And the subconscious mind controls your emotions, your belief systems, your habits and routines. So if you're allowing the elite rulers of this planet to program your mind, man, you are in trouble. What you need to do is get your lower energy centers harmonized, balanced, and awaken your kundalini. And you need to raise it up in the minimum to the heart chakra to get out of fear you get into your well actually maybe even the solar plexus chakra because that's the the place of courage and uh and the wheel so that maybe you know right around there at least but you need to be awakening and uh the kundalini and aligning and uh harmonizing each and every one of your chakras but basically this video has actually gone a lot longer than i thought that it would but I just want to let you guys know, you're either going to live in fear or you're going to live in love. I choose love each and every day. And my life is beautiful because of it. But, um, yeah, don't let these corporations and governments and religions program you to live in fear. That's another one. Religion with Christianity and, and uh, Islam teaching about a devil and hell and saying, if you don't do exactly what we say, you're going to hell. It's living in fear. It don't work like that. 
um, awaken your inner being, awaken your true self, the immortal spiritual being that, you know, never dies and only experiences death here in this physical realm. The spirit of the mind of the all flows through us all. And um, we need to expand our awareness, expand our consciousness, and get out of this fear vibration. I love you all. That's about it. Everyone have a wonderful day. Peace.